right, you guys, so welcome back to Pilates Strong. We're gonna do a great uh, sweaty Pilates workout. Let's start with our warm up. We're just gonna take these nice leg circles. So um, why, I wanted to, to create something that was like Pilates, a little more Pilates based, you know, adding things like leg pull and your plank push up, but also uh, a format that would also, you know, get your heart rate going a little bit without losing the quality of the, of the move. Anyways, um, so let's just kind of make these nice leg circles. And as you do it, you know, allow the upper body to sort of move. Like, don't be afraid to let the upper body move. Hands up. And we're just looking at kind of just moving through that hip with the leg bent. All right, we got about 20 seconds left here. And then just kind of keep moving here. So we're just doing a nice little warm up here. Um, Again, if anything, like if you have anything in your shoulder that bothers you, you know, skip the planks or go to your knees, just take it easy. Um, otherwise, just do the best that you can. All right, four, three, two, we're gonna go to a squat reach. So, you know, squat, reach. So, just like old school, this always reminds me of something like in 80s aerobic workouts, you know, where you're like down and up and, you know, big ponytails and colorful clothes, which I happen to be wearing today. Good, and reach down, press those legs and reach, and then maybe start to look up, right? We always look down whenever we're, I don't know, walking around, we're looking down our phone. Um, so kind of look up as you lift and then back down, good. We got about 30 seconds here. Good, keep going down and up, good, reaching. So um, you're gonna have, you're gonna see that the focus here is gonna be a little more lower body, um, but there are, it's gonna be a pretty good mix of upper and lower, good, five, reach four good three reach two reach one more straight away you're going to go down to your thighs all right so set yourself up for thigh fall double up your mat if you need to you're going to keep your spine a nice long plank and reach your arms forwards lower and then pull it in okay so like from the side my upper body is really straight it's not here and it's not here and then you're going to press right so that wasn't very good so you want to keep your core tight and press ribs in, thigh fall, it's kind of like thigh stretch on the Pilates uh, reformer or Cadillac, right? Because you can do it on both of those, good. Reaching, pulling those abs in, pulling in, good. We're gonna go for about 25 more seconds here. And you should feel the backs of the thighs engage, the fronts of the thighs engage. And imagine that you have like a little ball between your thighs and that you're squeezing that ball. All right, 10 seconds. This is a long, long minute, it feels like. Good. Four, three, little glute muscles burning, two, and then release. So now set yourself up for the fire hydrant kick, right? So you're gonna take your left knee up to the side, kick, set it down, okay? Lifting, kicking, setting it down. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit in case I'm out of range. Okay, so one full minute, kicking. Kick like you're kicking through something heavy, like heavy air, I don't know. Definitely not sand, but just something thick and gooey. <laughs> there you go. And kick, and kick. And here you're gonna feel your outer thigh, your core engage, right? And you're trying your best to keep your hips relatively square. There's gonna be a little bit of a turnout here, but just as square as you can, really using that outer thigh. Make sure that you're not sitting back here because that's not gonna feel good. Make sure that your shoulders are over your wrist. Good. Got about 20 seconds here. And kick. Good. And kick. I feel my outer thigh burning. Good. Kick. Keep kicking. Good. And kick. Got about, oh, I would say about 15, 10 to 15 here. Good. Kick. Good. Kick. Both sides are working here with switching sides coming up. And five, four, three, two. Set that leg down. Other side. So we're just adding that kick. Lifting and kicking, and kicking, good, and kick. Really being mindful that you're not dropping your head, right, it's forward, good, kick, and kick, and kick, kick with purpose, right, so they're not sloppy. You're connected to your foot here, okay? Foot's not just out there on a different zip code, all right? So keep going, kicking, you've got about 30 seconds left here, and both sides are gonna work, I'm always surprised, how much this one starts to burn with no equipment. Good, keep going. And kick, and kick, and kick. Good, 
Now I'll try to turn the side so you can see how that looks as well. Good. Stay with me, guys. Good. We got about mm, 10 seconds. Good. And kick. And kick. And kick. Keep going. Four. Good. Three. Two. And release. So that was our warm up. That was round one, which was your warm up. We're not repeating that set. All right. So now starting with our squat with a leg lift. So stand on up. One minute starting on your left side. You're going to squat it down. Reach. Squat and reach. You're really trying to find that lengthening out to the side. Good. And reach. The higher you reach, the better this will be. Good. Always struggling with this. Good. And reach. Good. Really drive that leg out to the side and reach. So both sides are working. When you stand up, you should feel this leg stabilize and this leg, this left leg moving through that move. It's not a super low squat. Watch your knees here. We got about 20 seconds here. Stay with me and lift and lift. Good. You want a straight leg lift. Really getting that muscle to be used. Good. So it's almost like standing side leg lift, right? Good. You got five. Reach. Four. Good. Three. Two. Now guess what? You get to kneel down. You're going to teeter over. Make sure that your uh, hips are in line with the crown of your head so you're not taking your booty out and you're going to lift. Left hand behind your head, lift. And I want you to feel with the left hand behind the head, the length in your side, abs are pulling in tight, and you're maintaining this sense of length as you lift. So it's your butt and your obliques have to work here too. Otherwise, we'd be doing this, and this is no good. Okay, we're not doing the chicken dance here. Good. Trying the best that you can to keep that... Um, Stable leg, stack, right? And you can even see me, I tend to do this. You wanna make sure that you're reaching. So even if that means go less high, totally fine. You got about 10 seconds here. Stay with it, good, lift, and lift, and lift, good. We're gonna take that leg slightly back for three, two, hold. Now a little back, and back. Like you're pushing something back, but you can't quite reach it, right? Good, push. Push. Good. Push. You should feel back of that thigh engage. Good. Good. We got about 15 seconds here. Press. Feel that area right there. That's so hard, so hard to get. Good. Four, three, two, and release. Okay. Back into your quadruped. This time I want you down on your forearms here, okay? So forearms down. We're going to do hip extension. So you're going to lift that leg up and out to the side. Bring it in and reach. Strong legs here. So even as I'm reaching the whole time, my leg is engaged, even as I bring it in and I'm pressing it out and up. So make sure you've got that nice fluid motion out and up. Good. And that's really going to get those uh, glute muscles to fire up. Good. And reach. So you are turned out here a little bit. Good. Keep reaching. We got about 35 more seconds, I think. <laughs> Good. Keep reaching. Good. Stay with it. These are challenging, right? Good, and then get your heart rate going. Keep moving, good, and reach. Powerful legs, guys. Good, reach, and reach, good. Five, four, three, two. Now you're gonna hold this last bit and you're gonna lift at your high range. Lift, 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 and squeeze. Up, up, up. So you're still on that left leg, same leg this whole round. We're gonna repeat this on the right side, up. It's almost like there's a string that's actually picking you up from here, engaging that leg. And yeah, you're gonna feel the quad. In fact, you know what I feel, what I like about this exercise when you start to do it a lot? You're gonna feel the top of that knee muscle working too, which is great. Four, three, two, and then release. Bring that leg in, stand on up, okay? Start with your squat, kick, right side. Now, when you do these videos, feel free to always change what side you start on. Lately, I've been um, going to the side that is less likely to be started with first, um, which is typically the left side, right? So in this video, I purposely having you guys start on the um, left side. Did that make any sense? I'm really tired. All right, lift, good, and lift. This is one of those days where I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do videos or work out. It's about 
afternoon, which is usually when I get the most tired. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. Good, and down and reach. Kick that leg out so both sides are working. You got about 20 seconds here. Down, reach, down, reach. So the idea is like, reach with some length, good. Keep going. Good, last four, three, two, and let's take it down to the mat, all right? So kneeling side kick, again, set it up here. Top hand behind your head, pull that arm forward, lift it up. One full minute here, lift, good, lift. Making sure that you're doing your best to stack your hips. You'll notice this is much easier than that. Ooh, that all of a sudden literally feels like it's stretching and strengthening your outer thighs. That little subtle difference, good. Keep that head there, keep that, those ribs in tight. Good, lifting and lowering. Good, you're over halfway there. Good, lift. It's gonna feel so heavy here in a second, good. Stay with me guys, good. And lift, and lift, good. Let's go, four, three, two, now hold. This is those little backs, and squeeze it back, and back. You're like engaging the back of that thigh to reach that leg back. Good, press, get that leg higher. Mine on this side is tighter, it's harder. You can see that I'm shaking, because it's really hard. Good, stay with it guys. Got about five, you got about four. Good, three, two, hold it, three, two, and then release. Come down to your forearms, okay? This is that one with the nice long turnout. Lift that leg up and in, and reach. Good, so find that energy. Find stability in that leg. It might wobble as it comes in, but make it feel like it's on a laser line, meaning a diagonal laser line. So you're not doing any of that, right? It's a nice straight line. Reach and reach. You're gonna be surprised how good this feels um, like the next day. I honestly, I feel like sometimes these no equipment moves just kind of help the body regain some additional functionality that you might not get as much when you're restricting your range of motion with equipment and bands, right? Don't worry, I've got to do both. You see my videos, I use both all the time. But you got to mix it up. You got to keep that variety, right? They say it's the spice of life. All right, lift it up and down and reach. Good, four, reach, three, two, hold it up there and lift. Woo, it's like there's a string right there and it's lifting my booty up and down. Actually, lifting my whole leg up and down. Good, reach. You're gonna feel also those side thigh muscles there. Such a beautiful thing. Up, lift. Back is nice and strong. Core is nice and tight, good. Last four, three, lift. Come on guys, last two, squeeze it up there. Last one, and then release. Okay, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I'm, I'm sweating. All right, stand back up. We're gonna do a little football run to get that cardio going again. All right, so this is definitely not, I don't know if I did this Pilates at all, it's probably more workout, but it's gonna get that heart rate going. All right, so feet wide, and you're just gonna start to run it out. Just nice, don't overdo this, we're just gonna kind of run. Be light on your toes, side to side. You're gonna feel how these muscles are, gonna feel strong actually in this exercise as you do this. A lot probably more than previously when you've done it. You can move your arms. I don't know why my arms just naturally move when I'm doing this. Of course, my carpet is sliding a little bit. Kind of telling, right? If my carpet slides too much, I'm not working both sides evenly, so I'm gonna try to keep that carpet still good. Stay with me, guys. Now you can pick it up a little bit if you want. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Got about 20 seconds left here. Woo! Stay with it, guys. We got a plank to push up to leg pull. Combo coming up. Good, four, three, two, and then release, all right. So now you're gonna do your plank to your push-up. So arms up, roll it down. I always think this is one of the more boring Pilates exercises, right? All right, you're gonna do one chaturanga or Pilates tricep push-up, left leg, right leg, right? You wanna really keep those hips square, abs are tight when you lift the leg. Bring it back up, all right? We're gonna go to two. So rolling it down, two of each, okay? Tricep push-up, one. Good, two. Okay, let's go right leg, just because I started. Just pick whatever side. Up for leg, pull front, good. Up and up, and then walk your hands back. To clarify, I think I may have said leg, this was leg pull. That exercise where you're lifting the leg is actually leg pull front, all right? And clearly my roll down 
is it truly applies roll down in this just because it's trying to be a little more of a workout. Good. One more. That's three. Right leg reach. Left. Right. Left. One more. Right. Left. Walk it back. Walk it back. Roll it up. Okay. We're going to four. Oh, are you wondering how many we're doing? If I haven't put it up on the screen there, <laughs> we're going to go to 10. That's two. Good. Three, four. Ready? One, two. Keep your core tight, right? Almost like you're trying to pull your pubic bone forward as you lift. Good. Three, good. One more. Good. Now walk it back. Okay, that was your fourth one. It's going to get really hard by the time we get to 10. Roll it down. All right, here we go. Good. Lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready? One. Good. Lift. Control. Find your hamstring. Good. Three. Good. Keep your gaze slightly forward so you're not dropping. I do that all the time. Good. Is that four? I think that was four. Good. Five. Good. Walk it back. Now here's the thing. Now I'm going to start with my left side, hopefully consistently. We'll see when I do leg pull front. All right, walk it out. We're going to six, all right? Good. Six, five, four, good. Three, two, one, okay? Oops, started with the wrong one. Oh well, here we go. Good, lift, use your glutes. Good, try not to hyperextend those arms. Good, that's three, we got three more. Four, lift, five. Again, this is because I wanted to get that heart rate going a little bit, right? With some Pilates moves, like leg pull front. All right, walk it back. Good, bring it up. I'm gonna turn over to this side for the last four. Four, yeah, right, okay. Roll it down, we're going to seven. Walk it out, okay? You're gonna lower, press, and press. That's two, that's three. Good, four, you got five. Good, go to your knees if you need to. Six and seven. Now I'm gonna start left leg. Lift and lift and lift. And if your shoulders are burning, they're supposed to. Good, three, good. Try to stay with good form. Really hard talking at the same time. Your weaker side is not gonna become as tight. You're gonna notice that. So really focus on your form here, guys. I think we have two more. Two, good. One more, one more. There we go. Walk it back. That was seven. We got eight, all right? Roll it down. The good news is we're not repeating this, right? This is the only time we're doing this. One, I mean, technically we are repeating it. Good, two, like a lot. Good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, one, good, two, three. Go to your knees if you need to. Good, four. Come on, five, six, keep it tight, seven, come on, eight, Whew. walk it back. We're going to nine, guys. If you feel any tension in your shoulders, guys, go to your knees or stop at eight, all right? Totally fine. You can also just hold a plank here. Again, it's all about your quality, right? Nine, come on, eight, seven, six, Good, five, Ooh. four, try to keep up, three, two, did I say start at nine? Hopefully I start at nine. One, maybe that was 10, I don't know. Okay, leg pull, right, left, right, left. Good, that's two, three, four. Come on, you guys, let that swipe drip. Five, good, keep that pelvis still, six. Go to your knees if you need to, seven, good. Eight, you're almost there, come on. Nine, good, walk it back. One more set here, guys. Roll it up, Woo, reach it up, that feels good, doesn't it? All right, take it back down, walk it out, going to 10. This is it for this exercise, we've got pretzel kicks coming up. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there, five, good, four, Three, two, one. Ready? Left, right, left, right. Good, almost there, guys. Keep pushing through, keep pushing through. Three, good, four, 
Keep those abs in tight. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Oh, and then sit it down. Last exercise, guys. So good to train in there. Sit in a pretzel sit. Uh, or the Z sit. Two ways to say this. My left shin is pointing out. My left shin is pointing in. I mean, my right shin is pointing in. All right, hands forwards. Lift that left leg up and down. So you're just using your outer thigh and your glute to lift that leg up as one unit. So there you go, right? Pilates moves, right? I mean, this is even taught along the line. The Z sit, that's quick. The pretzel kick. Hands in prayer. In a lot of ways, I actually think this is probably harder than even like some of the more cardio-based exercises because the cardio is coming so much from a strength position, right? We're using our strength to get the cardio going. Good, you got about 20 seconds here, good. And lift, now if you want, feel free to keep your arms up. Good, now just pulse it out. Last 20, lift. If you feel any tightness in your hips, you're gonna go here, okay? That's your modification, up, 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 squeeze. You're gonna feel those obliques too, I love it. Good, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it, three, two, and then release, all right? Switch sides, all right? So start with your hands forwards, feel that movement, that's one. Good, I mean, we're not doing it by count, we're doing it by time, so we got one minute here. Good, lift. Literally sweat stripping from my nose <laughs> to my mouth, <laughs> off of my chin. All right, good, lift, good, lift, lift. I say that because it's still hard for me even though I do these, right? Good, lift. Now, if you want to take those hands to prayer, go for it. You will feel ooh, those obliques working too. The thigh, good, stay with it. Got about 20 more seconds, maybe arms up. This is where you're really gonna feel those obliques. Again, if it's in the front of the hip, this is where you're gonna stay, right there. Okay, otherwise keep going, good. Also, you don't wanna be pushing that way. So if your arms are up, make sure you're staying tall. This, put your hands down, okay? Good, up. Make sure you're keeping those abs tight. Good, stay with me guys. You got five, you got four, you got three, two, and release. Okay, maybe there is a lot of arms in this workout. Don't know why I said there wasn't. I actually think I know why. Originally, little secret, I was just gonna have you do that plank to, uh, just reach forwards here, that plank to uh, chaturanga to like pull front. I was gonna have you do it one time, 10 times, like once, repeated 10 times, and then you repeat, so 20 total. But then as I was doing it, I was like, you know what? We're gonna do this in a stacked sort of version. So you're welcome. Bring that right arm to your right leg. Reach up and over. Keep that lift hip down if you can. Good, and a little side bend. Breathing, ooh, it feels so good. And then reaching it forwards. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share. Lots of videos. I think now I have like 80 videos on there. Playlists are out there. Bikini body, if you want that. You want a sweaty playlist, it's on there. Um, booty pale playlist, skinny fat playlist, uh, fat burn playlist. I mean, it's all on there. So, um, but if you want to see something else, let me know. Good, release that. Switch sides, good. Reaching up and over, getting that whole side body stretched out. But, and then reaching over. Excellent work, you guys. See you next time.